Hi, and welcome to another installment of Math Basics, Mr. Besh. Today we look at a word, compensation, and its meaning in math. And this is a pretty simple concept. It's designed for the primary student or elementary student, and it's a helpful way to count. You see, when, when students first learn how to count, they find it easier to count by multiples of, say, like 10. So what compensation allows us to do is subtract from one of the two numbers you're adding together to add to the second number to make a multiple of 10. If you ask a kid what was 36 plus 17, you'll start to see the wheels start to spin. You'll see them pull out the fingers. They'll start adding things up. What compensation allows us to do, as you can see from this example here, A, I, I took 4 away from 17, the second value, to make that 13. But if I take away from that uh, um, that second value, I have to add it back to the first value. And I did. And the reason why I added it to that first value is because 36 plus 4 now made 40. Now this could be reversed also. You, you, could have, you could have real simply added 3 to the second value and taken 3 away from the first value. But students will find it very basic um, to tell you that 40 plus 13 gives you 53, but yet 36 plus 17 to them seems like a, a harder type of a problem. So this is the technique which is referred to as compensation. You're basically subtracting from one number that you're adding together to add to the other to make your math simpler to be done. Now here's a second example here, just for clarification. In this example, I took 2 away from the first term and added 2 to the second term to give us 50 plus 31, which is 81. Um, I could have just as easily, um, you know, added 1 to the second term and subtracted 1 from the first. Um, it doesn't matter which of the values that you make a multiple of 10 here. Um, just compensation is a way to try to make adding values easier. It's trying to give uh, you know, the student as many strategies as they can. I like to refer to it as tools in the tool belt because the more you have, the better you are. So I hope you find this video both helpful and informative.